Yep. Strength. Strength is important. Strength is valuable. Strength is something that you have. And it doesn't need to be some macho asshole crap. You don't need to, like, walk around flexing your muscles. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's not about the silverback gorilla. It's actually about something a lot more, shall we say, attenuated to where you are. That's why this stuff is so valuable. You see, you have strength. You don't have to tap into it as a reflection of someone else's and you don't have to do it like me. What you have to do is understand that one, you must actually locate your strength. And we'll get into that in just a moment. And two, you have to be able to convey your strength without walking around telling people you're strong. No one cares about the person who is walking around saying, hey, look at me. Oh. No, that's bullshit. And you know it. And I know it. So there we go. We, uh, we both know it. And you know what that means? That's enough. The interesting issue here is that when you spend your time Focusing in on your strength, when you spend your time making sure that what you are doing is a reflection of something that is your strength, then you can actually do what you need to do. It's a valuable tool. It's a valuable thing. It's a fantastic thing, and it's an important aspect to providing authority Value, convincing, compelling impact. Yep. So let's get back to the idea that this isn't about silverback gorilla type of stuff. <laughs> it's not. It's not necessary. Your strength can be all sorts of different things under the sun. Your strength might be a soft, mellow, gentle thing. Your strength might be a big, loud, profound thing. Your strength might be a funny, amusing, lighthearted thing, or it can be an intellectual thing. Your strength can also be very serious. Your strength can also be a combination of any one of those. Does that make sense? I hope so. You see, when you are capable of focusing, of focusing what you're doing, you can actually provide a compelling sense of what you truly care about so that people can actually gain benefits from what you are doing. And when they do that, you're assisting them. When they embrace what you are doing because you have taken all of the steps that are required to let them know that your strength is worth paying attention to, you will find yourself in the delightful position to affect change in others. Now, I don't take this lightly. I don't take my particular expertise lightly. I know where my strength is. I know the various components, and I use them. I leverage them with a method that I'm going to show you in two weeks' time. Yes, two weeks' time. It's Friday. I'm going to show you <coughs> two weeks from tomorrow. So this is a heads up. Mid-July. In mid-July, I'm going to offer a pirate booty workshop. Yar! <laughs> the pirate booty workshop is going to explain the launch, a two-week launch that I used to make a decent amount of money from a $50 offer. 
This is going to be a breakdown of all of the different components that you can actually use. It is going to be a checklist for you to be able to provide the same thing that I did. And that checklist that I offer you is going to enable you to be able to use this in your own way. You must actually have all the different components. But you can do the same thing I can do. There's no reason you can't. Why would you assume otherwise? You can. Now, I'm not saying you're going to have the same $45.75,000 exchange. That's not what this is about. This is about where you are and improving your situation. Ho ho! Improvement. I want you to embrace this. I want you to get that what this is is one of the numerous methods that can be used to move yourself forward. We all want to be able to make money. That's not the issue. I'm going to step beyond that and show you how to do it. The caveat is this. You have to be able to understand that all of these different parts are parts of a larger whole. And when you incorporate all of them, you will pull yourself up by your bootstraps and move yourself forward. So <clears throat> here we are on a Friday. I don't know where you are in the world. It's early Friday evening for me here in the countryside of Denmark. And I've had a long day. And I'm going to explain this to you as best as I possibly can. Complete with a checklist, PDFs, all the different aspects, and we're going to go into detail in order for you to move yourself forward where you want to be. So I'll do this again tomorrow. But let me remain with the basic theme of strength. Your strength can be that of the peaceful Buddha. Your strength can be that of the focused arrow on its target. Your strength can be in efficiency. Your strength can be in wild exuberance. Your strength might be in thoughtful planning. Your strength may be a combination of any of those. Your strength may be a wild, crazy surprise. And it's up to you to make sure that what you do with that is focused so that you can convey it to people. Without that, without conveying your strength, you won't be actually be able to impact other people because it'll be sloppy, it'll be messy, it won't be understood. So, what is my strength? I could tell you, I don't need to tell you. I'm not interested in telling you, I'd rather show you. This is me doing it. This is me providing you an opportunity to understand that this is where I reside. This is where I dance. This is where I do my big badass shizzle. And in so doing, I am able to leverage my strength to create a business and build that business. You deserve to be able to build your own business. You deserve wherever you are right now. I don't know where you are right now. Are you starting? You need to be able to harness what you're doing so that you can grab a toehold, a foothold, a handhold, and you can build yourself something. It starts as some kind of side gig, whatever you want to call it, and then gradually turns into something bigger. Maybe you're already up and running, but you're looking for clients, you're looking for customers, you're looking for people who you can assist in a larger way so you can build your business. Maybe you're somewhere between the zero to $5,000 a month mark or a little less. 
I don't know. Fine. So you have to gain the knowledge of what it takes to be able to move your stuff forward with this video is king and queen world because video impacts things more than most of the other stuff in this online social media world. And you know it. I know it. You know it. We both know it. And that's all that matters. All those other people who don't know how to use video, I feel sorry for them. They don't necessarily have everything at their in their arsenal right now. You should. You should. Because you know it. Video is king and queen. It's more compelling, and I don't need to prove to you that. All I need to do is tell you this. Name the amount of long-form reading that you spend time with in the social media world. Good. Now name the amount of videos you've seen today. Right. Live stream, Netflix, we live in a video is king and queen world. And you don't need to be a professional actor performer like Meryl Streep or Lady Gaga or Al Pacino, <laughs> Justin Timberlake, Brad Pitt. You don't need any of that. What you do need to do, though, is harness what you have and take your strength and turn it into something. <laughs> Today is a bad comparison for me. Yes, I'm struggling. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I'm struggling. Yes, we all struggle. It's been known to happen. I'm a little brain dead. It's been a long week. Uh, so what this is, though, is an understanding that when you move yourself forward into your preparation for whatever launch you're going to do, whatever product you're going to offer, whatever essential tools that you can bring to bear upon the public at large, you want to make sure that video is king and queen and you can tap into your own strength so that you can... <sighs> Let it be known. Now, the whole idea, uh, wait, Facebook user. Going to click on show. I'm talking about the comparison with the long text versus the video. You're li literally the first one I'm watching today. <laughs> right. Gotcha. Well, so if this is the morning for you, and if this is a day like any other, you're probably going to end this day watching some kind of video. You're probably going to end up, oops, having a lag time pressing my buttons here. You see, you may read a lot of people's posts if you're like me. You are going to look at the sheer length of a post and you're going to scroll. And if you're like me, you're going to see whether or not something is compelling on video. And you are going to move forward into that if it is compelling and only if it is compelling because it ought to be compelling enough. We get our news through video we get our recipes through video we get our how-to videos through video yo Steph what's happening we have all of this access to the social media world whether it's Instagram or YouTube or Facebook or TikTok or any of these things, including Netflix and whatever other streaming, Hulu and things like that. And we spend more time watching video and absorbing the video information than we do reading long form whatever the fuck it is. If I get some 
email that has a clickable link to a video, I'm going to stop reading the email and I'm going to click on the video. And if the video is compelling and if the video is not an hour and a half long, then I'm going to watch that thing at least for a little while and see if it's compelling. And if it is compelling, then I will pay attention and I will choose the video over these other things because long form copy don't cut it anymore. We don't have a big long, you know, giant newspaper that we read. Yo, Maria, what's happening? Now, the good news is that you harness what you have to offer and you place it into video context for people. And this thing is actually 15, 16 minutes long. And that is t longer than, and, and Maria, you know this. Ha! <laughs> Cheryl, hi from Ohio. I am, I was born in Ohio. I was born in Lakewood, just outside of Cleveland. I only lived there from zero to a half. But <laughs> we then moved to New York. And uh, then I ended up growing up in New York, eh? Hey, what do you, what do you? Fucking New York. Yeah, baby. So you have your video. At some point or another, you are going to be in a live stream context. You are going to be in... I don't know. Maybe you're going to make your video sales letter for your program. Maybe you are going to make video ads for your paid ad outreach. Maybe you're, you, you are going to create a course. Are you planning on creating a course that's going to put people to sleep? I certainly fucking hope not. <laughs> because that would run contrary to what you are interested in doing when you offer people the opportunity to buy your shit. Do you actually want them to come back to you and say, yeah, I bought your program. I fell asleep halfway through the intro. <laughs> Damn. No, you want the opposite. <sighs> Unless it's a course on how to fall asleep. Yes, if it's a course on how to go to sleep, then you can just show yourself, uh, you know, fluffing your pillow and then falling asleep. Do it on video. Don't put him to sleep with a boring ass fucking long form text based thing. Just show him a graphic and a video and let him join you. Right? <laughs> so. In two weeks' time, and this whole week has been me leading up to the understanding that you are going to have an opportunity to join me where I show you how. I show you all of the steps outlined so that you can actually do a two-week launch process that enables you to do your shit, invite people, and then gain the traction you so duly deserve. The last one I did was a $50 product, and I made some money. You can read what I made. I wrote it in the top of this thing. I'm now going to show you how I did that. I'm delighted to be able to say that I made some money from this stuff. I am glad I love being able to afford to offer you what I know works. I only teach what I know works. I am not interested in giving you theory based on someone else's shit that I learned from someone else and got some kind of certificate so that I'm now officially capable of saying that I know how to teach, like, you know, uh, you know Toastmasters program or Bob Proctor's stuff. Bob Proctor's probably a very nice guy. I don't need to be certified in Bob Proctor's shit. The whole idea here, and with all due respect to all the people out there who are getting certified for various things, some of the stuff you don't need to be certified for. In this particular case, what I teach you is to develop your authority 
so that you don't need to explain to them that you have a certification because they won't care if you're certified when you make it compelling, believable, understandable, convincing, authoritative, assisting, and impactful. When you know what you're doing... You can explain it and articulate it so that people will come to you. That's what I believe. That's what I believe based on the fact that I've traveled the world, gaining money in exchange for performance and presentation, and I've been teaching how to do exactly what I've been doing myself since 1987. Yes, I'm old. Still have some teeth. Old man rivers and the goddamn mule. I'll get you, you crazy kids. <laughs> but I think, and I, I actually sincerely believe this. You may think I look like an old geezer. I don't know. You may think I look younger than my years. I hope so. I have been doing, for the most part in my life, the things that I choose to do the way I want to, with whom I want to work, by my own terms, for a very long time. And that keeps me young. It also keeps me feeling liberated. You deserve to harness your strength and articulate it so that you can convey to others what it is. And when you do that, you will be able to assist others. But even more importantly than that, you will be able to set yourself free. I am interested in freeing you. I am interested in unshackling you and untethering you from all of the normalized bullshit that we have to do every now and again in our lives. Hey, Sonny, what's happening? When you tap into your ability to actually do your shizzle your own way, on your own terms, with whom you want, the way you want to, you are liberating yourself so that you can actually let your life flow. And when you do that, in a unique way, unlike anyone else, that's the shit. I mean, that's some real flex there. You become a beacon to other people in your close-knit family and nearby relatives. Your friends, those friends who might be skeptical of you doing your new thing. Because, let's face it, most of your friends aren't going to buy your stuff. They're going to be convincing you or attempting to convince you to play it safe. Fuck them. I mean, they're nice people, but fuck them. <laughs> when you show them, they will be convinced. Until then, they'll always be concerned and on the lookout for an opportunity to save you from yourself. However, as some of you may know, One of my main mantras is a manifesto I wrote called the Freak Genius Manifesto. And the Freak Genius Manifesto has a 10-point, actually it's an 11-point 11 11 bulleted breakdown of all the different components of living a creative entrepreneurial life. And when you use that, you can liberate yourself. And the reason I call it freak genius is because of this. From the outside, not from within, but from without, those that see you going into your new direction, whatever chosen path that you can articulate clearly, 
they are going to think of you as a freak until you start to gain success and you can explain to them or prove to them that you're doing fine. At which point, they will start to change that opinion of you as a freak into a genius of some fashion. I've been called a genius many times in my creative travels. I'm not the one to label me. I've also been called a freak. I don't care. I would choose instead to embrace the freak, embrace the genius, let other people deem whatever moniker is valuable to them to describe and define you, and continue moving forward into your own shit anyway. Now, this last thing that I did, like I wrote just up above here, I offered a $50 training, and two weeks later, when I launched the thing, it brought me a little over $26,000. Following up, a few weeks later, the whole thing in gross totaled a little bit over $45,000 from 50 bucks in two weeks' time. And I will give you the opportunity to understand the entirety of my checklist of things that I did in order to do this. I will give you an opportunity to step up and take part in my pirate booty two-week launch map. A pirate map. <laughs> Here, tis a pirate map. Where be the golden cross? Dig there, me hearties, dig there. And I will show you where to dig and how to dig and which tools to use to dig. And I will show you how deep. And I will explain. And we will go into full detail. And that will be in two weeks. So, the whole idea. Yes, Sonny. Right. Thank you. Those of you who understand what I'm talking about also know that I use this phrase from Will Rogers. If you done it, it ain't bragging. So, when you do it, you can explain that this is exactly what it is. And you don't have to worry about people thinking you're a braggart or anything else. Because when you've done it, it's not bragging. It's simply laying out the straightforward shizzle. The God's honest truth. I want you to understand that. I want you to let that sink in. Being able to do this. Can you do this as well as me? Well, I don't know you, but without my help, maybe not. Then again, I'm not going to try to convince you. I'm not interested in convincing you of anything. I preach the gospel of me, and when you're ready, you step up. In the meantime, my success continues to grow, and I teach everything that works. And that is where I free myself from having to sell. Either you're in, or you're a sideliner. Sidelining's fine. Sidelining will get you nowhere. But that's up to you. Ponying up. Action takers. Moving it forward. It starts with this two-week pirate booty map. Which, by the way, won't be free. Will it be exceedingly expensive? No, no. I'm not doing that. Not for these But if you pony up, you'll have the entire detailed map. So here we are at 30 minutes. These live streams, by the way, that's where 30 minutes works. 
but I'm going to close this off at exactly 30 in five, four, three. Yar, matey. Speak soon. Enjoy yourself.